Good afternoon everybody. Hope you are well and have an amazing weekend. It's Saturday, February 26, 2022. It's around 3 p.m. and the temperature is 29 degrees centigrade here in Yangon, Myanmar. Now we are going to visit a historic landmark in Yangon named Lim Chin Song's Palace. Let's go. Lim Chin Song's palace is located at Kabaraya Pagoda Road in Yangon, Myanmar. Lim Chin Song's palace is an early 20th century mansion built by a local merchant featuring Chinese and European elements. Lim Chin Song was a Burmese Chinese tycoon and merchant with business interests ranging from rice to oil. Throughout his career, he served as the sole partner of Lim Su Hin and Company, originally established by his father, a Chinese immigrant to Burma. During his own lifetime, he was known as the most successful Chinese merchant in Rangoon. He entertained the social elite of the city in lavish parties hosted at his residence, Chin Song Palace, and gave generously to charities including a hospital, a temple, and several schools. In modern Yangon, he is mostly remembered for the sudden and mysterious circumstances of his bankruptcy and death. Lim was born on October 28, 1867 to Lim Su Hin, a Chinese man of Hokkien origin who migrated from Xiamen to Burma in 1861 shortly after the family arrived in Burma from China. After arriving from China, his father apprenticed for a Chinese milling firm before beginning his own business, originally importing goods from China and the Strait settlements. He later established a rice trading farm, Lim Su Hin. In 1886, Lim's father also began marketing oil with Lim working as his assistant. Lim's father, believing that his own poor English ability was hampering his ability to do business, sent Lim to the best English language schools in Yangon. Lim attended Rangoon College and St. Paul's School, now BEHS No. 6, Botatong. He also spoke Chinese but was not literate in the language. In 1888, Lim's father died. Lim took over his father's company and expanded from the rice trade to petroleum. In 1891, he became the exclusive local agent of the Burma Oil Company, handling the internal distribution of oil throughout Burma. After acquiring a fleet of steamships, he also began exporting oil to Penang, Singapore, Hong Kong, Santau, and Xiamen. Lim played a prominent role in negotiating the oil company's rights to extract oil from properties in Upper Burma and was rewarded with a small commission from every barrel produced from those wells.
Lim diversified his business interests into rubber plantations, cotton jeans, peanut mills and into earth metal extraction including tin, copper, lead, old firm and gold. Besides exporting oil, his steamships carried passengers, especially laborers from Fujian. Lim owned a match factory whose matches were favored by the Lord James Fort. During the early 1900s, in which Lim was one of the most prominent merchants in Rangoon, he donated generously to schools and hospitals. Before 1910, a biographer noted that he led the local Chinese community to contribute generously to the upkeep of a maternity hospital. In 1897, he donated the resources of his steamship company to have materials for Rangoon's Guanin Temple shipped from China. In 1905, Lim and his partners established Anglo-Chinese Boys and Girls Schools in Rangoon. In 1907, Lim founded the Lim Chin Song School. Lim's schools employed teachers hired from England and the quality of education was good enough that some families from Hong Kong and Macau sent their children to be educated there. One of the goals of Lim's schools by teaching Chinese students in English was to increase the competitiveness of Chinese businessmen and professionals abroad. Lim Chin Song maintained good relations with the social and economic elite of colonial Burma. He was made an honorary magistrate, sat on the Rangoon Municipal Committee, and served as a member of the Legislative Council of Burma. In 1919, he was awarded the Order of the British Empire for his fundraising efforts during First World War. The funds raised by Lim included his donation of a steamship. The ship transported a regiment of Australian light horse to the battlefields of First World War in 1916. It was later sunk by a torpedo off the coast of Ireland on July 10, 1917. Lim owned the Rangoon Turf Club, a racing stable. Lim's financial fortunes declined drastically following First World War. He had been in heavy debt since at least 1911 and by 1914 all of his properties and businesses were mortgaged. In 1915 he won a civil sue over the cancellation of his steamship charter but he used the money to import a Rolls Royce Silver Ghost from England. In 1919 his lack of ability to repay what he owed to the Burma Oil Company led the company to cease employing him as an agent. He also lost enough money through gambling and by making bad loans for his business associates to criticize him for it. Lim attempted to corner the local rice market in 1921. His resulting monopoly led to a sharp increase in the price of rice, which led the British government to ban the exportation of rice outside of India, which Burma was then a part of. Because of this ban, the rice market in Burma collapsed. By 1922, he was on the verge of bankruptcy. By 1923, he was evading arrest, never appearing in public while refusing to answer the door or answer phone calls. There was an application to the High Court of Burma asking that he be judged insolvent the proceedings of which Lim did not attend. The court agreed to temporarily halt the trial and to renew efforts to arrest Lim when he died suddenly on November 2, 1923. Lim died in his sleep, possibly of a heart attack. At the time of his death, he had been suffering from influenza and fever. 
Before his death, he had been notified that the telephone company had threatened to cut his phone service due to non-payment of fees and his resulting distress may have contributed to his death. Between 1915 and 1918, Lim built a lavish residence in the Golden Valley area of Rangoon at a cost of over 2 million rupees. The building includes a mixture of eastern and western architectural styles and its five-story tower was built to reassemble the Fu Jing Pavilion in the Summer Palace in Beijing. Building material was imported from both China and Italy and foreign artists were employed to decorate its interior. The most notable artists to work on the building included the English painters Dot and Ernest Proctor. The fusion of Chinese and Western architectural elements was not unusual in other British colonies with strong Chinese communities such as Penang and Malacca but was unique in Rangoon. The original name of the property was Mount Pleasant, but after its construction, the property became popularly known as Chin Song Palace. After the construction of Chin Song Palace, Lim and his wife regularly threw lavish parties and entertained the social elite of Rangoon. The most notable guest entertained by Lim at the residence was Georges Clemenceau, who visited Burma in 1920. During the Japanese occupation of Burma from 1941 to 45, the house was the headquarters for a Japanese radio station that broadcast propaganda, the All Burma Broadcasting Station. Following Japan's defeat, the house was owned by an Indian businessman before being nationalized by the newly independent Burmese government in 1950. After the Burmese government took ownership of the house, they turned it into a guesthouse and changed its official name to Kanbauza Yaktha. In the late 1960s, the building was converted into a hostel for female students attending the Institute of Economics and the Rangoon Arts and Science University which were nearby. Today, the house is used as an office and arts school by the Fine Arts Department of Myanmar's Ministry of Culture.
In 2015, the Chin Song Palace was designated a heritage site by Myanmar's Ministry of Culture. It is undergoing renovations and remains open to the public. After the renovations, the Ministry of Culture plans to open the space as a cultural center. Lim sent his sons to be educated in England. After Lim's death, many of his children left Burma and his descendants now live in various Commonwealth countries including Malaysia, Singapore, the United Kingdom and Canada. Lim and his family were generally popular during his later life. When his eldest son was married, all of the notable European and Eurasian residents of Rangoon attended. The day after the wedding, another wedding party was held in which all of the notable Burmese residents of Rangoon attended. Two days later, the initial wedding, another party was held in which the notable Muslim members of the city attended. Finally, three days after the wedding, another party was held in which all of the notable Chinese people in Rangoon attended. After Lim Chin Song's death, Lim Kar Chang, Lim's eldest son, took over the management of his company. Lim Kar Chang attempted to ameliorate his father's debts partially through reposition of property and businesses and partially through applying to have them written off. Despite Lim's effort, the legal ownership of his properties was still in the process of litigation by at least 1929. During his lifetime, Lim was known for kindness and generosity among the Chinese community in Rangoon and he donated a percentage of his commissions to maintaining his schools for Chinese students. Today, Lim is not well known in Myanmar and those who do know him mostly know that he was very wealthy but that he died in ignominious circumstances. Among the sino burmese community of Yangon, Lim is remembered as a man whose fall was partially caused by his hubris. Beautiful greenery enhanced the beauty of the palace premises. As a wealthy Chinese man from a colonial era, most modern Burmese people feel they have little connection to Lim.
on the right side the construction of a building is ongoing this is a buddhist monastery beside the palace premises This is Kabaraya Pagoda Road. A uh, street vendor is selling various kinds of uh, street foods. That's it from today's video. Hope you have enjoyed this update. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.